Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. We finally reached the very top of the Hollow Forest. And in this episode, we get Marie back. So let's go. Now this upcoming battle isn't like anything we faced so far. To this point, we've only battled Shadows and the Sagiris. But now we have to fight Marie? I don't know how this is going to go down, but let's hope for the best in this next battle. Are you ready, senpai? Here we go. There she is! Marie-chan! Why? Why do you come? Why? I told you I'm your enemy. That you don't need to bother with me. Why did you come this far? Thank you. But it won't do you any good. I'm tired. I... I just want to end it all. Shut up, you know what that means. You think we're just gonna lie down and let you do that? Marie-san, please listen. Even if you are one of those creatures, that's still no reason for you to end your own life. The two Sagiri have been defeated. That means you're... Free? Is that what you think? That's not true. I'm not like you. I don't have freedom. you already. If I don't die, then your world will disappear. Our role was more than to simply find out the wishes of man. Our true role is to control the fog and bring that wish to fruition. Control the fog? Don't you think it's strange that the fog never went away? That it lasted for months? The Sagiri created the fog. And I absorbed it. The fog that changes people to shadows. Wait, then the reason the fog cleared was... That's right. When Amino Sagiri was defeated, the fog covering your town was no longer needed. Then I heard a voice. And all the fog flowed into me. The fog isn't gone. Even now, it's raging inside me. No way. So the fog isn't gone after all that? It's just in you now? When my mind is completely overpowered by the fog, I will disappear. Taking the fog and the hollow forest with me, I am... a being destined for non-existence. That's the memory that came back to me. The world will be saved. Yes, even if that is her real reason for hiding herself in the Hollow Forest, I cannot agree with the conclusion she is drawing. Hell no! She's saying that we can only have world peace in exchange for her life? Screw that! That's why! That's why I left! Because there's no point in seeing you. We'll just hurt each other. It's okay. It's all okay. I've already made enough memories of my own. Fun. Happy memories. If you're not gonna leave now, then I'll have to make you leave by force. Please. Just understand. Damn it, why did it end up like this? What are we gonna do, partner? Okay! We're saving her! If we give up here, then why the hell did we even bother coming all this way? Yeah, we're not gonna let anyone else suffer from that fog. We have to do it. Oh, right. Right. yeah!
I don't want you to suffer anymore. Why don't you understand? Senpai, we can't lose here. The peace we've earned shouldn't come at the cost of anyone's life. We cleared the world of the fog, and now we're getting rid of it for good. We're not gonna get through to her like this. Sorry, we're gonna have to whoop her ass first. We cannot back down here. We must get her to listen to us. Here it goes. This is for your own good. It looks like we have to knock some sense into Marie. And starting things off hot, lightning is one of Marie's attacks. Has a very high chance of making one of us dizzy. We need to be careful of that. Also, that's a tough one. Darkness won't work. Physical attacks are resisted, so Yoshitsune probably won't be the best here. So, our strategy is pretty similar to when we battled Adachi. Let's mine charge on both Naoto and our main character and get our buffs up. This battle is more or less a war of attrition. At the moment, physical attacks are not the way to go, so we need to power up our magic. And Amataru Kaja is going to help out a lot. Every turn, Teddy does not need to heal. He might as well go for Bufudine. That is his strongest attack. And honestly, nothing else he has can top it. Okay, Megi Dolon. This should not do a million damage. Okay, only 100. That's not bad at all. Teddy can easily heal that up. And now that the Debilitate is on Marie, that will be doing even less. So let's just keep focused. Do not want to mess up here. Let's go for our own Megi Dolon attack and see how much damage that can do now that the Debilitate is active. 775, not bad now, so keep it up. And now Kanji can use his own power charge attack, so next turn he will do double damage. Okay, so far everything's looking good. Medea Rama coming out from Teddy, that will definitely heal us up enough for that last attack. Okay, another hot lightning. Okay, kind of bad, but as long as that does not hit our main character, we should be okay. And luckily for us, she did not go for a second turn. Now, let's cast Megi Dolon. See how much damage this can do. Come on, big numbers! Oh, a little bit stronger than now. <laughs> I was kind of expecting a little more, but oh well. Let's go for another attack. And hopefully survive. So far, she's being kind of nice to us, which is good. And uh, this might actually get reflected. I don't know. Well, she's at half H. Yeah, that's really bad, RNG. Oh, God. She will cast Alienation Wall, which means now we have to be on guard. Because we cannot attack Marie. Stay out of this. Just just leave me alone. I'm sick of this. When she says that, Shell of Denial will become activated. You have to guard. There is nothing else you can do. You simply have to wait this battle to enter phase two. And luckily for us, Risa acted the defense increase. Good. We need to heal Kanji up. So. <clears throat> Teddy, you're gonna have to take one for the team, man. Just heal a little bit longer, and hopefully we can take this upcoming damage. Why? Why do you still come? All you have to do is abandon me. Well, Murray, we can't do that. It's not a true victory unless everyone comes back home. And like it or not, you're coming with us. So, let's stay on the defensive. Maybe we should cast... Hmm, yeah, let's use one of our items to heal up Kanji. I do not want him dying. No, honestly, I think I'm going to save it. This sucks. Why don't you understand? Just give up! How's that, you punk? Now are you gonna listen to us? Why? Why? It doesn't matter what happens to me. You're stupid. Hurting yourselves like that. If my death keeps you from being happy, what am I dying for? Don't say you're going to die. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I used to be just a shadow too. But even I could change. Emi-chan, you have to believe! <sighs> what good comes of belief? You save me, and your world is gonna disappear. 
Is that what you want? That's what it means when you tell me you want me to live. I look so stupid. Afraid of living off borrowed life. Afraid to disappear. Thinking that maybe I could remember something and then I'd have a life worth living. It's funny. I remember now. I already have a role. And it's to disappear. I shouldn't have ever remembered. It would have been better if I'd never remembered. Marie-chan. What's wrong? That's right. There is no need for the truth. Ignorance is bliss. There will be no pain if you never try to find out. That voice! That's not Marie-chan. Is that what she meant by her mind being overpowered? Hey! Snap out of it! <laughs> Don't come near me! Go home! Please, just go home! All you losers! You just don't know when to quit! I never should have met any of you. Especially you. I hate you! Yeah, what he said. You really aren't true to yourself, are you? You need to work on your acting skills. Stop lying to me! It's not a lie. Everything in this world is the product of someone's mind. This place is yours. This tomb, and the flowers all over it. Your resolve to die is what created this scenery. <gasps> However, on the way here we saw things that don't fit a grave. Juness and Sozai Daigaku signs, the bench on the hill, the electric poles, mirrors, school desks. It's all from the town, the home of the people you say you hate so much. What, you want us to bury you with all that stuff? If you like them that much, why don't you come see for yourself, huh? <sighs> I can't. I have to die. Way? Yeah, he's right. You don't have to go away forever. The only thing that needs to go is your fog. It's impossible. There's no way. If we waste any more time, the fog will take me over and be set free. If that happens, I won't be able to take my own life. I'll become a monster. We should wait for Marie-chan to be controlled by the fog and then defeat her? Senpai, wait! I mean, it's still her body, right? If we fight the monster... Yeah. Uh, so what'll happen? I... I don't know. But maybe right now, y you might be able to. Put my mind to sleep before the fog overpowers it. Of course, the fog will then take over my body, but my mind will still be safe beneath it. The rest comes down to luck, I guess. Which will give out first? The fog? Or my life? That's one hell of a gamble. What are we gonna do? I'd rather not have to do that. But if there's no other way, then we'll just have to have faith that it'll work. Yeah. It's gotta be better than just sitting here and watching her die. She's not gonna die. We won't let her. This is our friend's life on the line. We can't fail now. Friends. Okay. I trust in you all. Even if I do die, it would be a better way than letting the current situation continue. But. Please, don't any of you die. It's coming! Get ready, everyone! Will this...
this really work? Emi-chan won't die if we fight her? Marie-chan believed in us. We have to believe in her. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. What good, good is it to, to learn, learn the truth? truth? You, you want, want me to throw, throw away my worthless self-satisfaction in exchange for eternal suffering and despair? I don't need it. I don't need any of it. What's wrong with turning a blind eye to suffering? I don't want a truth full of pain. I want a peaceful lie. What is this feeling? It's like she's not even seeing us. Suffering, denial, and rejection. She's denying everything. Be careful, Senpai. Normal tactics may not work. Emi-chan, it must have been hard for you. But it's okay now. We're here. <laughs> All right, guys, this is it. The battle versus Kusumi no Okami. This is the real fight. Everything before this was just a warm-up. Run Amuk has a high chance to crit doesn't do all that much damage, and Marie's ego is struggling. Good, good, good. Now is our chance to go offensive. Kusumi no Okami is completely resilient to all attacks. The only way you can do damage is if you have Ice Break or an item that can remove her resistances. This is pivotal. This is why we gave Kanji and Teddy a lick break and Ice Break, respectively. So. Now, all we need to do is mind charge and use our most powerful elemental attacks and take Marie down. Now, if you do not have access to those spells, you should be fine. Many of the items can help you in here, and hopefully your persona repertoire is advanced enough to deal with any type of attack. And okay. Teddy going for the Ice Break. This is going to amplify Naoto's damage substantially, pretty much from zero to well, higher than zero. So now let's go into Yoshitsune. We are counting on Kanji for the Elect Break attack. Hmm. Yeah, let's actually cast Heat Riser. We do not want our attack to miss. So let's go. Just a little bit longer. Now Marie's coming back with us. Let's see how much damage this Bufudine can do. Wow! Almost 1100 damage. That's what I'm talking about. Elect Break coming in. Come on, Marie. You can do it. Alright, so far Teddy has got nothing better to do than heal. We need to survive. Her damage is maybe on the low side, but we can never be too careful. Let's keep healing every turn and the Mabufu Dine. None of us are weak to that. Come on, Marie. We can hit harder than that. Let's go back into the Trumpeter. Okay, so far everything's going according to plan. Let's mine charge. So next turn, Yoshitsune will do massive damage. Alright, mine charging again. This is pretty much our go-to strategy. Naoto and our protagonist are going to be the best damage dealers here because they possess the highest magic stat, but Kanji's no joke! 307. That's what I like. And you want Teddy get in there too! With your own attack. Nice! That's what I want to see. Oh god, here it comes. The draining fog. This will drastically decrease our SP, but also do damage to Marie. What was that? Marie-chan's power to absorb the fog is going crazy! Careful, Senpai. She's sucking up everything! Risei is not joking. If you do not pick up good enough accessories inside of the dungeon, you may quickly run out of SP in this fight. But, I don't think it's gonna go on for that long. Come on, Yoshitsune! That's what I'm talking about! Heck yeah! 1500 damage! Another Bufudan attack! This fight shouldn't go on for much longer. Alright. As long as everyone keeps attacking and has enough SP, should be alright. Hopefully, Teddy... Well, I think he should be able to heal us next turn. We should be alright. Let's go for another Bufudine. Nice. Okay. Hopefully, Risei is going to do what I think she's about to do. That would be fantastic. Great. The defense increase is nice here. So, Teddy can actually attack and the debilitate will wear off. But that's not the end of the world. Another Draining Fog attack. Come on, guys. We can do this! Just hang in there. Why don't you get it? The 
truth doesn't help anything. You're all hypocrites. Peace and tranquility lie in the fog. Senpai, don't listen to her. That's not the real Marie-chan talking. Don't worry, Risa. We've been through this enough times to know that Marie's just going through sort of a thing right now. <laughs> So let's go back into the trumpeter and reapply our debilitate so our team can do maximum damage. Alright, just a little bit longer. Marie will be done. Same as before, we want to prepare. You still can get knocked out from this boss. It is still a boss battle. We need to be diligent and make sure we all survive. Everyone's leaving this forest in one piece. So Ice Break coming in again, so now Otto can attack the next turn. Okay, the Electric Affinity has reverted. Here comes another Draining Fog. Hopefully we'll have enough SP to cast our spells and... Oh god, we're getting real low. It's working! You can do it, Senpai! Don't let your guard down. She'll get you if you do! So is she, though. So let's now go and cast Mind Charge. So Yoshitsune can attack once again. All right. Luckily, our stones are keeping our SP healthy. Now to knock some sense in order. That's what I'm talking about. Just a little bit more. A leg break coming in. Oh my gosh. I think we're almost done. Come on, Teddy. Give her all you got. Shake off coming in. And with that, I think we're almost done. Did we do it? How is she, Senpai? Is she okay? No way. This can't be real. No! This can't be! We... Emmy-chan? Come on. You're such a sleepyhead. It's time to wake up, okay? Emmy Chan? No! This isn't happening! What did we do wrong? Emmy Chan, wake up! Don't die! Get, get off of me! Marie Chan? Thank goodness she's alive! Oh! I... That's right. Thank you. You think that's long enough for a moving hug? Shouldn't you let go now? Nope. I'm tired of moving. Enough with getting up. Good thing there's someone even I can hug. Hey! Here we go again. Why is it all our friends are like this? You know, there aren't a lot of people who can really mess with Risei-chan. Did you feel the Earth move? Or was that just me watching these two? This isn't the time for stupid comments! What's going on? Don't tell me! Is this like in the movies where once the bad guy's defeated, his evil fortress self-destructs? I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. I don't need to be in this place to die anymore, so it's gonna disappear. 
Why the hell didn't you say that sooner? It's gonna take us with it! We're gonna die! We're all gonna die! Just get to the exit! Hurry! I forgot how tiny the TV here is. I feel like this has happened before. Are these really your friends? They're all so weird. It's your fault to begin with! The TV! That was never a television. The Hollow Forest has vanished. Because there's no more reason for it to exist. We did it! So, how does it feel to have your fate changed? Well, it feels weird. After all, I'm alive. <laughs> well, yeah. That's why we went all the way there and everything. Um, thank you for saving me. And I'm sorry. W what? Why are you looking at me like that? You... You just said sorry, didn't you? She did, very politely. Huh? Uh, it's just that you never seemed like the type who would say that. Huh? You, you stupid jerk! Fine then! F forget it! I take it back! Oh well... Listen to me! What the hell? What is with you people? You risk yourselves to save me? You don't get anything out of it. I don't understand you. Really? To be honest, we were hesitant at first. Learning that you were from the other side was kind of confusing. But to not save you just because of that? Oh, that's not how we roll. If we blamed things on someone else and looked the other way, nothing would change. You were in trouble and we saved you. That's all that counts. I don't understand you at all. If not knowing us bothers you, then you should start getting to know us. All of us want you to learn more about this world. Yeah, like Valentine's Day. Valentine? Ah, oh, so you don't know what that is either. Huh. It's an awesome day when a girl gives chocolate to someone she holds dear. Oh, and I already reserved Senpai. Whatever. No cheating. Reservation cancelled. Why, you... That was quick. Well, let him get to it. Hey, it's clear outside! You're right. I need to do all the laundry. My back is killing me. Hey, how about we get some grub? Sounds good. On you, of course. Oh, stop expecting me to buy you lunch all the time! Yeah, I'm okay. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Hmm. Well, when I gave my body up to the fog, I thought I heard a voice. Um, what did it say? Humans don't want to know the truth. What they truly desire is a peaceful world filled with fog. Something like that, anyway. I don't know. But it was familiar. The same voice I heard when you defeated Amino Sagiri and the fog flowed into me. Wait, maybe not. I felt like it was my voice. Maybe it's something I said long ago? Oh well, the fog is gone. I probably just misheard it. <laughs> Scared you, huh? The weather's nice, there's snow all over. What more do we need? Oh yeah, you ever been in a snowball fight, Marie-chan? Hmm. Hey, how are we going to split the teams? Ooh, what the? Hey, hey! 
I'm supposed to throw snow at him. Isn't that right? No! I don't want to lose again! Hold on! You have the eyes of a predator! The teams will be women versus men. Now begin! Oh, come on! Kanji, Teddy, what the hell, guys? Take this! Get him, Marie-chan! <laughs> ah, why are you like going after me? Snowball skills. Well, I do feel a bit sorry for them. <laughs> <laughs> Still, today's hero's gotta be Marie Chan. You go, Snowball Queen. <laughs> That's the wrong gender. It's heroine, not hero. Whoa, your skin is so pretty. Your complexion is amazing. <laughs> Yo, can you see anything? The steam's covering all the good stuff. Uh, hey, Kanji, up, up! Don't let me down now! Ah, uh, Ted, you punk, no. I'm done with hey, this! Cut it! Uh, 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 you dirty pervert! Oh, trying to peep again! Electricity, here's a bad idea! Disgusting creeps! I hate you all! <sighs> We're finally out of there. Hey, Dojima. <laughs> we successfully escorted Marie back to the Velvet Room. We all made it out. The Hollow Forest. Everyone's safe and sound. Hmm. I think this is a happy ending. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. In the next episode, well, we just continue on with our normal lives. See you guys then. Bye.